So we just want to share a little bit about our minimalism story, how we became minimalist. What? Tore you, tore <laughs> you tore off my notes off! Here That's okay. eight months now uh, it started in March of what year is this 2018 mm -hmm. um, and it's currently November of 2018 and so basically we started we'd been feeling cluttered for a while I would say we move a lot and so it, we always seem to accumulate stuff but in probably end of February I think we discovered um, RV life and like living in an RV or turning a school bus into a mobile home. And so that idea really, excuse you, okay? You okay? Want to drink? You're okay, you okay? Okay, he's okay. So <laughs> turning, um, just like living that RV life and living really minimal and traveling a lot once he's out of the military. And so that's kind of where we discovered the idea of minimalism. And I don't think we even thought of it as minimalism at that point. We just kind of thought of it as living smaller. We knew that we couldn't take a lot of stuff with us. So we just started really, um, what do I want to say? We just started really minimizing the things in our life. We just started getting rid of stuff. To do this, we went like zero to 100 in like a second. And uh, I grabbed boxes from work. We made a gold. I think I grabbed 10. They're Lar big boxes. Large boxes, and we wanted to fill every single one with all the stuff we don't need. Clothes, stuff that was still in packaging and wrapping. Decor that sat in the closet. Still had price tags on, tags it. on it. Yeah. <laughs> and we did. We filled every single box. And then some. And then we had a giant yard sale, and we moved. And I actually recorded all that on my Instagram story, so I'll go ahead and insert that here now. So you guys can watch it and see all the stuff we got rid of. Hey guys, good afternoon. So we have a fun little announcement. I mean, it's fun for us. I don't know if you guys care. Um, but we have been slowly thinking about transitioning into the minimalistic lifestyle. And today we decided to officially take the plunge. To start out, we're just in the declutter phase right now. So we're going from room to room. We're in the kitchen today. And we're just gonna go through each cover and each drawer and keep only the things that mean something to us and then get rid of the update. It's literally been 20 minutes, the word decluttering, and I apparently have an unhealthy relationship with coffee mugs because I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> like, <sighs> so my mom uh, is definitely not minimalist, uh, she keeps everything. So, Called her and told her what we were doing. She's like, oh, keep a box of stuff. I want to go through it. So now every time I have trouble, I'm just like, oh, I'll keep this at mom's house. So we officially started yesterday with getting rid of things that didn't um, bring us joy or that we didn't need, that we didn't want. And these two giant boxes are just stuffed with things that we don't need in our house. Apparently, while I was packing in the kitchen and going through stuff and doing dishes, Winston was in here chewing up the box and according to his nubby he's not even sorry happy saturday uh so today we are continuing our declutter phase we're hoping to have everything done in the next two weeks today we're tackling all of our clothes so i'm super nervous we have so many i just want to show you guys the sheer amount of shit in our bedroom that we're minimalizing. We just took our bed off the frame last night. This is all clothes that we own and have to go through, plus our closet. <sighs> we also got rid of our nightstands and packed up a bunch of stuff. We still have random stuff. Like, our room is a legitimate disaster. And normally, I would not want to show everybody this stuff, but I can't wait to show you guys the after look. So you have to... Uh, anyway, sharing all of this so that at the end, 
when I stand in our doorway and pan around the room, you can appreciate the sheer amazingness that will be the final look. Because you've seen the disaster that came beforehand. So, we are done with our bedroom, and I'm so excited to show you guys the final look. So, here, as I pan around the room, you'll see that everything is cleaned out. The only thing that remains is our bed with a fresh bedding set. If you've been watching this transformation, you saw this morning how many clothes we had everywhere. So, everything that we now own is in our closet. We got rid of, I think, five large boxes of clothes. These are all the clothes we own. That's it give you guys a little bit of a closet tour. So these are all the clothes that Jimmy owns. He literally just wears workout shorts, t-shirts. So his t-shirts are broken down between like workout t-shirts and nice t-shirts. He has one nice like polo. He has some of his military stuff up here and he does have stuff downstairs in a closet like his ribbons and blues and stuff but those are going to be coming upstairs here in a little bit. And then uh, stuffed animals we have and a suitcase, random stuff. And then all of my clothes. As we look through my stuff, here are all of my workout tanks. I had 57 workout tops, and I've now narrowed them down to, I think, 10 workout pants. I'm not even going to tell you how many of those I had. Shoes that I narrowed down, uh, jeans and jean shorts. Proud I am that these are all the clothes I, that I own. Literally, all the clothes that I own, minus, like, socks and underwear and stuff that's in the dresser. So, like, undershirt tank tops, nice tank tops, nice short sleeves. I narrowed it down to three t-shirts, which is amazing. I just think the three t-shirts is such an accomplishment, but I'm not going to lie, I narrowed it down to three because I knew that I could still wear some of Jim's. Uh, so the rest of the closet we have like nice long sleeves, flowy shirts, pullovers, sweaters, and some and then a couple jackets and one dress. So I owned eight dresses. I never wear them except for special occasions, and I never wear the same one twice, so I don't know why I keep them, but I did, I did keep this one. Um, probably going to watch my sister's graduation, but that's all the clothes I own. But I'm seriously just so proud of us. We took mountains of clothes that we did not need, narrowed it down to just this closet, our wreck of a bedroom turned into just one bed and a super cute dog, and it feels amazing. So here we are, Winky came with me, uh, to our garage. These are all the boxes of stuff that I've gotten rid of. This is literally our bedroom, living room, and kitchen. Six big boxes. There's still a box and a half-ish upstairs. I want to focus on these things here. So these three things right here I bought and found them in a closet today. And I needed every single one of them when I bought them, right? This top one still has a tag on it. I've never hung it up. It's sat in a closet for almost two freaking years. So this one, my mother-in-law bought for Christmas, and it was one of those, like, we went to Marshall's, and we were shopping around, just buying things, just, we didn't even need anything, we were just shopping to shop. We bought it, and it's been in the closet since Christmas. And then the third one is this pillow. Like, it is super cute, right? I know for a fact that we bought it at Joann's. Jimmy swears that we paid $17 for this pillow, and he's probably right, and it was probably on sale, um, and I found it. I just discovered it today. Anyway, I hope that helps show you guys kind of why we're doing it because we want to stop consuming so much and buying useless stuff to put in our house. And we would like to get rid of all of this to maybe make a little bit of that money back. Okay, so my brain is just not working. I literally tried to work out, did not, just could not do it. Um, my brain is all in decluttering right now. It's so bad, guys. So I'm going to work on this little office space next. There's tons of shit up in there, too. Right, so we just spent um, so much time going through, this is all the stuff that we no longer want, that we are getting rid of, that we're selling, um, including like that, some of this fitness stuff. Alright, so pre-workout has kicked in for me. Uh, he didn't take any because apparently he's just like an Iron Man. He doesn't eat it. But we are now in our garage. We are going to sort all of this stuff <laughs> to mark to sell.
So you just saw in the video of how much stuff we uh, accumulated and got rid of. That was before we moved. Now we're in this new house at our new base and we've gotten rid of even more stuff since then, which brings me up to another point is every time we've moved in the last eight and a half years, that's about how much stuff we've had, if not more. And it's very, very exhausting and stressful to have to move all that stuff for the simple fact of just moving it moving and keeping it because a lot of it wasn't even being used. Yeah, and we didn't realize until we started this, but every time we've moved, we've consistently gotten bigger spaces to live in. Like our house size has continually grown and at every single house, with the exception of this one, we've always filled that space. So we went from like a one bedroom to apartment to a two bedroom apartment and we had to fill that second bedroom with stuff. And then we went from a two bedroom apartment to an even bigger two bedroom apartment. And then we went to a house and then we went to another house and then we went back to a one bedroom. And like, it's just our stuff grew when our house sizes grew. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we're just surrounded by stuff that we, <laughs> we didn't even know we had. We didn't even realize... Like, we even had storage units to hold all the extra stuff we had, so... And when we cleaned it out, we literally took one box. We, so we threw everything away. It was all garbage. <coughs> Jesus. But, anyway, so that's just quick and simple, our minimalism story. It's not grand. We just have plans for after military life, and we decided why wait to start minimizing. Um, we started minimizing now, and we fell in love with how simple this lifestyle is. See. Si. Anything else? No. That's it? No other words. No. Okay. We have to end something fun every time.